Okay, I'm back home. I got some cookie mix. Um, I got some holiday tea. I picked that up at Winners, um, at um, Ains Ghoul. And then I picked this up. Um, I texted my one of my colleagues who's obsessed with Star Wars. I said, look at what I saw at Winners. And he asked me to pick one up for him, so. I'm gonna bring that to work with me tomorrow. And then I got this. I love angels and I love wood. So, sorry, one handed. And I got this beautiful angel, all in wood. And um, she has like this white and silver, and that's the back. So yeah, I'm very excited. I love that angel. So simple, but so me. Looks cute, my angel. I love it. Yeah. I confirm. I love it. I realized we didn't open um, the candle from yesterday. So I thought we could do that now. And okay, so what's today? Gilt, pomander, and hinoki. So it's gilded holly berries, cardamom, and Japanese hinoki. The description sounds lovely. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like silver. Ooh, I'm gonna smell that. Let me see. Very nice. We're gonna burn this one. Hello. So this definitely smells like Christmas. Mm, such a nice holiday scent. Oh, it's really nice. I love it. <laughs> I had never smelled this one before, but um this is, this is, this is Christmas in a candle. It's like spicy and, mm, I love it. I really, really love this one. I think it's my favorite one so far. <laughs> and right now I'm tempted to not burn this one yet because I have the other ones that I didn't light yet. Um, because they last a while, right? And, um. And I feel like I want to save this one for my week off. Like that Christmas break. I think I'm going to use this candle. My goodness, that smells good. Wow. Okay. Enough about the candle. <laughs> um, so, today's been, um, sorry, just reorganizing a little bit. My mom's coming over soon. We ran out and did some errands, so I got a couple more Christmas gifts and um, vlogged a little bit where I, where I could, but it was kind of difficult cause, because there were so many people. There was people everywhere. Clearly, we're two, two weeks away from Christmas, right? There's tons of people shopping. Um, but it was a successful outing. And uh, I'm going to just decompress now a little bit. And then my mommy's gonna come over. I think I'm gonna make some cookies with that batter I bought. I don't normally buy cookie mixes. I normally make my own, you know, full on homemade cookies, but lately I'm kind of catching for my breath. And, um, you know, for sure, like right before Christmas, once my exam's done on the 20th, my last exam, I'll bake because I'm gonna bring cookies to my sisters for Christmas. But I think for like now, just to have some nice cookies ready, um, I think I'll just make the mix. We'll see how it goes. So I'll see you in a bit.
before I burn the other one, let's use Baltic Amber a little bit. And let's light this spiced pumpkin. Okay, so I thought, well, I have some downtime, let's do this. Advent calendar. Okay, so I just got a fun delivery, so if I have time, we'll do the unboxing today, and if not, it'll be tomorrow. It's nothing big, but I'm excited about it. in this little box and what is in here is a gift with purchase I had gotten so when I did all of my Chanel holiday purchases um, you know a few weeks ago uh, my beauty advisor at the Chanel counter at Holt Renfrew gave me this beautiful tweed pouch and so I decided to keep it for Vlogmas. I thought it was so, so pretty. Um, it's really beautiful, this tweed, and it's super soft. It's really nice. And it has these little loops. So I've seen some people put in D-rings and wear this as a little bag. I'm not going to do that. It's really going to be a cosmetic pouch for me. But I think it's really nice. It's stuffed. Silica. and then it's just like this uh, material but I think it's easily wipeable so yeah yay I think it's great um, so I think it's gonna be a really nice cosmetic pouch or even like a little catch-all in my work bag or something but I really like it the, the Chanel is kind of raised it's a nice texture it's um yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's cool. You can really feel the, it's not like just printed on, you know? Um, so I thought it was really pretty. And so, yeah, merci Henri. I love it. And I love red, red's such a pretty color. And isn't it like it's shimmery? <laughs> so there you go, Vlogmas day 12. Um, so I think I'm gonna go start baking some cookies. It's like a basic, you know, simple cookie. Um, I think I'm going to add chocolate chips in it. Yeah. Or maybe I'll do, I have some cinnamon chips as well. I think I'll do a mix of chocolate and cinnamon chips just to give a little bit of zing. We'll see what I decide. Okay, so we're going to make these cookies. Um, I have some dark chocolate chips and some cinnamon chips in here. Okay, and um, yeah, just to have a little, but I love this brand of, of, of products and they're gluten-free. Um, I always find them at Winners for about that price, so that's great. They're really um, safe for gluten, wheat-free, nut-free, soy-free, dairy-free and egg free. I mean, the recipe does ask for eggs, but you can always make a substitution of, uh, for example, oil and chia seeds. It does kind of imitate the texture of eggs or you can find another substitute. Um, so let's turn on the oven to 375 and we'll go from there. Okay, got that preheat. And then what do I need to do? Stir the cookie mix, softened butter, so I need a half a cup of softened butter, and eggs or egg in large mixing bowl. Um, add a cup of chocolate chips or garnish, you know, our favorite add-in, and then shape dough into round balls, and then put them on a baking sheet, and then bake from 12 to 14 minutes. So there you go, easy peasy. Um, 
it says two eggs there, but here in the instructions, what about in French? Because in English, it only says an egg and egg. <laughs> that always bothers me, but, um, and in French, et l'oeuf. Like, to me, that's like singular, but it says two eggs. So I'm going to follow the two eggs and we will see how it turns out. But grammar, people, I mean... Am I the only one who's picky with language? For butter, I love these Bissell, um, I'll put it in English. The Bissell unsalted plant-based um, butter. I really, really love these. And they come identified like this. So you already know kind of the portion you need. This is a perfect half uh, cup. So I already have it uh, ready. But um, I really, really, really love these. I recommend. In the microwave it goes. Okay, so we're going to use my KitchenAid mixer. So I just... Eggshells. At least it was a perfect top and didn't crumble. So there's no egg, you know, shell anywhere in here. No need to worry. Um, and now we go and mix. Christmas parchment paper. <laughs> Just rewashed my hands and now I'm gonna make the balls and put them on my quick sheet. It's a very sticky dough. <laughs> it's like wet. It's wet. So it'll do, it'll do two cookie sheets. So I'll do one cookie sheet at a time. Alrighty.
We have this much more dough left for the rest. I have a fun little unboxing that just got delivered. And so um, I already cut the tape to make it easier. Air paper. in this little box and I got a personalized charm key ring kind of thing um, they had a it was on promo and they had free personalization so I did choose an item um, so I mean their packaging is just so nice like they flipped up the little bit of tissue paper there to have it attached like Honestly, Aspinall, they have my heart. It's my brand. Um, I think I've been proving that. So, I got it in this beautiful uh, burgundy color. And there you have my initials, MLS. And then on the other side, it says Aspinall of London, England. I have to be right back, my oven is ringing. <laughs> seriously miscalculated that. <laughs> I thought I had more time and then my cookies were ready. So um, now they're just cooling a couple minutes before I put them on the cooling sheet and then I'll do the second batch so we just have a few minutes. Okay. So this really pretty charm and look at the detailing. So you have the Aspinall of London crest all engraved in the ring here, Aspinall of London, and then the same thing on that side. It's really nice. So I think this is really beautiful if anybody wants to use it as their key ring. Um, I was thinking I'm going to attach it to my actual four ring key holder to just easily grab it out, or I was going to use it as um, kind of like a luggage tag on my camera bag. So I was thinking of kind of having it hang like that as like a little luggage tag. So let's try that. Okay. So I have this chain from, um, from Amazon. Couldn't think of the word Amazon, goodness. But I could also use it with my leather strap that comes with the bag and just have it hang there. This gives it a little, kind of like that tassel look. I love it, I'm so happy. I love personalized pieces that have my initials on it. I just, I don't know. And for Aspinall, I think it's really, really nice. So this camera bag, by the way, I love it so much. I love it so much. I think I've talked about it a lot. And right now is a great time if anybody's looking to buy any Aspinall pieces. They have everything, like absolutely everything in their inventory online is on sale right now um, since Black Friday. So they've been doing promos. And then, you know, every few days they put out like an extra promo. So they'll do like a few days of free personalization with this code. Or right now it's 10% off extra, an extra 10% off bags uh, with that code. And then, so they've been doing promos like that. So right now is a really good time to buy some Aspinall of London if anybody's been on the fence about it. Um, and they have beautiful, beautiful pieces. So there's really nice gift ideas there as well. 
um, I can't I can't talk highly enough about them because they're my new favorite brand and they're so wearable and easy to wear and amazing quality I mean did you see the packaging and I don't pay for the actual gift wrapping so they always come like that in that box but you know you can also pay for the additional gift wrapping where you have like the ribbon and probably a bag I'm not too sure um, you know I'll do that whole experience if ever I get the chance to go to the UK and really walk into one of those stores that'll be like such a thrill for me I've really become a huge Aspen of London fan plus it's affordable luxury and when they have these deals it's time um, there's not a single item I have of Aspinall that I don't adore. And um, and I love it because it's not a brand that I see everywhere, here anyway, in, in, in Canada, in the Montreal area. So, you know, I really feel like I have one of the one of a kind pieces kind of thing. You know, as much as I love Louis Vuitton and Chanel and all that, I mean, first of all, their prices are now so out of, out of reach that, um, you know, I, I really, appreciate the pieces that I have um, I mean, I'm very very grateful for them but I'm not looking at getting more and um, and honestly all every single item I get from Aspinall Autumn I know you hate this expression but they literally make my heart sing like they make me so happy I love my Aspinall pieces they they just make me so so happy and they're simple yet extremely elegant and I just adore them so that was my fun little unboxing for today <laughs> So as I talked about my um, my new surprise um, today, it made me think about this guy. I just wanted to touch base with everyone to say that I didn't forget, okay? Um, I'm trying to find a solution because I found out that there have been more uh, people who comment than what I can see. So I'm not seeing all of the comments. Um, I whether I connect on my phone or on my computer I don't see the same comments um, apparently there are some comments I don't see anywhere nor on my phone nor on my computer so I don't want to do the draw if I don't have everybody um, I don't think that's fair it's happened a few times in the past where I've done a draw and there was missing people and then they were like but why wasn't my name entered and it was because there was a technical issue and I didn't see it. So I'm really trying to find a solution for that problem. And we will start at scratch and get this to somebody. But um, I don't know what that solution is. So if anybody knows um, what to do in a case like that, <laughs> like I'm trying to see if there's like technical support or um, it's really upsetting me to be completely honest, but that's the situation with this so please forgive me um, but we will get this to somebody hopefully very very soon so just watching some heartland on this Sunday night my mom just left and <laughs> doing some treats to the cuties always wants to bite our fingers off. She gets overexcited. Luna's all gentle. Good girl. <laughs> hey. 
so um, I'm gonna call it a night now I'm actually really tired I practiced my oral presentation a few times with Phil after my mom left for tomorrow and now we're just decompressing watching our one of our favorite Sunday night shows Heartland <laughs> and um, then I'm gonna get my stuff ready for for my work tomorrow so I'm gonna get on editing this and I'll see you tomorrow